Yo, and I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Ham. Today we're looking at some UFO footage that may just make you believe in extraterrestrial life. So hit that subscribe button and get ready for more mysterious content just like this. I don't believe in no fucking UFO. This interesting video appears to show UFOs flying past the moon. The footage, which was uploaded to YouTube by Jean-Michel Tanak, is dated March 26th of 2020. No context is given for the UFO footage, other than the fact it was filmed near Montreal. The footage appears to show two to three pill-shaped craft flying past the moon. While the objects appear small on the screen, their actual size would have to be massive. In fact, each craft could easily measure in at close to 100 miles across when you take into account the actual size of the moon. Where is it? The shape of the UFOs in this particular footage is particularly interesting for sky watchers. Several Navy pilots who have spoken out about UFO sightings in recent years have described the objects they observed as being shaped like Tic Tacs. What's more, several pilots claim to have seen similar objects on a near daily basis between 2014 and 2015. Critics have been quick to chime in about the video's authenticity. However, the footage is difficult to refute. The shadows created by the traveling objects are consistent and accurate. This has led some to hypothesize that the objects caught flying past the moon are actually small comets or pieces of space debris. Love to get your thoughts on this amazing piece of footage in the comments section below. What do you think, real or fake? Fake. Most of us expect to see clouds above, land below and the inside of our own eyelids when settling into a window seat on an airplane to relax. However, one passenger appears to have experienced a close encounter at 31,000 feet. A user named Revan Tex uploaded to Reddit what appears to be footage of a fast-traveling UFO darting past an airplane window on a clear, sunny day. Get the fuck out of here. What's interesting is that the object that zips past the airplane window seems to be flying low enough to be detected by radar. What's more, it comes startlingly close to the airplane itself. The whole encounter doesn't last much longer than the blink of an eye. <laughs> this is fucking burger. Critics are quick to point out that the person who first shared the video was lucky enough to be filming the blank sky just as a UFO happened to pop into view. It does seem convenient. However, it's not uncommon for someone to document the sky outside their airplane window while traveling in this Instagram age we're living in. Here's another video uploaded by Revantex that claims to show UFO footage of craft flying past the moon. This time, the video starts with a fleet of three objects that appear as dark dots on the screen. The three craft seem to form a consistent V pattern as they travel. Things quickly get more intense. The person filming pans out to show what appears to be an entire fleet of craft moving in sync past the moon. Where the hell did he get the video from? The number Somebody of craft him. seen in this footage makes it unnerving. However, details like shaky camera work and clumsy zooming do throw some doubt on the authenticity of the footage. Unfortunately, no details about the shape of the UFOs seen in the footage can be really gathered. The craft only appear as black dots that don't seem to leave any shadows or light streaks. Love to get your thoughts on this one in the comments section below. This next piece of UFO footage was supposedly recorded on September 8 of 2018. It was uploaded to YouTube by Rob Chapman. The sighting took place at Haver Timber in Wilshire, England. The footage begins with one large bright object that can be observed in the sky. I can't see that shit. The object quickly pulls apart to be revealed as two separate UFOs. Oh my God. Oh my God. Into two. Oh my the two God. objects in the Wilshire UFO footage appear to do a dance in the sky that resembles two fish gliding in sync. 
What is that? Come on in, man. Do my reaction video. Both UFOs have long tails that streak against the sky. That's being controlled. The strangest part of the video happens near the halfway mark. The UFOs appear to let off dazzling Bullshit. explosions that resemble fireworks. That's fireworks. That's what it is, fucking Boys fireworks. They ain't but fireworks don't act like that. This causes the narrator uh, to ponder if he's simply observing fireworks in the sky. However, even the narrator has doubts that these objects like? could be fireworks based on the flexible way that they move in the sky. Making this video. Fireworks don't act like that. That's like reaction video. My very yeah, first one, man. That. The objects continue to dance in the sky after the fireworks show is over. Finally, the objects simply and then vanish. Y'all believe this shit, y'all want to? I don't believe no UFO. Damn, some of this yeah. or whatever the hell it what is. is going on well, in it's this fireworks. Video. Ain't no Firstly, UFO. Firstly, this is the first reported case of UFOs that emit firework-like objects. It's possible that the Bullshit. UFO footage is edited. However, it's more likely that these supposed UFOs are really just part of the case of mistaken identity. Song, <laughs> Throughout the video, the narrator comments Going that the UFOs the appear to be controlled by something. It does appear that the objects are being controlled to perform swift rolling maneuvers in the air, the way a child might control a remote control car. It's highly possible that what was caught on film was simply a set of remote control planes with fireworks strapped to their wings. This footage of a flying object was recorded in Ecuador. It was uploaded by Alien Invasion on YouTube in April of 2020. Viewers are supposedly watching a UFO sighting captured from a moving vehicle. You have to get about 56 seconds in before the encounter takes place. Like a flash of light, a UFO darts across the night sky overhead. It's impossible to make out any features of the aircraft, other than the fact that it's illuminated by blue lights. It's possible that the object is now simply that, that a shooting star right that, that know, appears to be moving so quickly due to the speed some, of the car the footage was taken that from. That might be a UFO. That we might may never know unless additional context is provided by the person who captured the UFO footage UFO. in the first place. So until then, this mysterious video will have to remain a mystery. A nine-second video uploaded by Reventex on Reddit appears to show a SpaceX rocket encountering a UFO upon re-entry. This footage is much more pristine than most of the amateur footage of UFO encounters in circulation. The footage leaves no doubt that the SpaceX's rocket did capture an object moving in space. Only a question regarding the object's nature and origins remains. The UFO flying towards the SpaceX rocket has a rounded or bullet-shaped quality. It also appears to be quite smooth. It's possible that this is an aerodynamic spacecraft. It's also possible that it's merely a piece of space debris that's got its moment on camera. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at some truly startling footage of a formation in the sky, remember to hit that subscribe button, then click that bell icon there. That way you'll get notifications about all our latest scary and creepy content. A video uploaded by Esther Gem in 2017 appears to show two very strange otherworldly circles in the sky. The circles appear to be drawn over the clouds. Flashes of light can be seen moving around the perimeters of both circles. The circumstances regarding where and when this footage was captured remain unclear. That's some weird shit. Many people are familiar with the circular contrails that often appear in the sky. That well-documented phenomenon is the result of hot, humid air from jet it's exhausts that mixes that with low-pressure vapors and low temperatures in the environment. The strange circles captured in this footage certainly don't match the contrail definition. What's more, contrails are remnants of sky activity. The circles in this footage are very much part of something active. 
An alternative answer is that the footage shows the natural optical phenomenon of atmospheric halos. However, support for this theory is no, shaky at best. Bad, I don't know who it is. Halos are produced room. when light from the sun or moon interacts with ice crystals this in the atmosphere. In, While know. they often appear near the sun or moon, halos can appear anywhere in the sky. Halos have been a part of weather law throughout civilization. They typically signal rainfall within the next 24 hours due to the fact that they're caused by clouds that typically belong to frontal systems. These two explanations, however, don't take into account the strange light source that is clearly moving around the perimeter of the rings. Alternative UFO footage that may be documenting the same event was uploaded by Sage of Key in 2018. However, this footage only appears to show one circle surrounded by beams of moving light. Knowing the time of year or weather patterns associated with the footage could make it possible to figure out if these circles were merely part of a natural weather phenomenon. However, it doesn't appear that the world will get any answers about this footage anytime soon, unless the people or beings responsible make an announcement. Man, that shit was boring as fuck. I know y'all heard me say Facebook, but I meant to say YouTube. My bad. My bad. YouTube. It was a boring ass video. But, uh, you know, you saw my reaction. Shit, they need to scare me, you info. But, um, it's your boy signing off. If you want to see some more freaky footage, then check out that link on the top there. Otherwise, there's a scary playlist right there that you can binge on for hours and hours. Now, if you want to get your name scrolling along the top there, consider supporting our Patreon campaign. There's a link in the description box below. And that's it for me. I'll see you all next time. signing off with my first reaction. It was my best reaction, first first best reaction video. But you you know, it'll be more to come. I not only do action figures, now I'm gonna start doing reaction videos to certain videos. So, like, share, subscribe, comment. Until next time, deuces.